Hello friends, welcome back to Pifar Lab and this is a full stack Laravel and Vue.js application development tutorial series and in, my, in this video I will try to go ahead and do the searching and other cool stuff. Now I would like to thank one of the uh, YouTube viewers and subscriber Aradev which who has suggested that um, instead of using if we can use uh, when in eloquent and that's really really nice. Uh, uh, suggestion as well. I just missed that part, but I would have uh, shown you already. So let's go ahead and uh, I will show you how you can use when as well. But you need to know when to use when and when to use if. So uh, if you have a lot of conditions that you need to uh, meet, just not the, uh, but let's say you don't have to just uh, um, uh, do the condition for string. Uh, if it exists or not, let's say you want to have more uh, conditions there. So an if condition uh, will be much better uh, if we have a lot of uh, complex logics out there. But if you don't have so much complex logics, just to do the filterings based on the logic, what query parameters user sent. So you can use more of like a Laravel eloquent way of doing things. Okay, and uh, I will try to make my video as bad as possible. Uh, the, uh, just need your uh, need your support guys hope you can do that thank you now let use when uh, all this query instead of using uh, if because it's more readable more uh, sweet I think and that's really cute so let's go ahead and use um, uh, block you can write query here but I prefer writing the actual item here so blog you can say okay when if you have the string uh, you can say if not string not equal empty then you can actually uh, run this thing run this whole things and you can say function and you can pass query and since I need to use the string I will have to pass that so I will pass the string and then I can come over here and you see I don't have to write uh, the if condition anymore it's already wrapped inside so it's more uh, readable and cute right now now let's go ahead and take all this code just copy and paste and write the queue here and we're good now you see we are really good now so and I can simply return the blog right from here okay and I don't have to write any of this code no if nothing just using when I can uh, do this uh, logical condition. So this is for one uh, one logic. If you have the string here, you can do a lot of cool stuff here. And if you have more, you can write okay again. Okay, if uh, blocks, you can write more condition here. If block when um, your custom logic here, let's say if category blah 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 so you can keep uh, appending appending you can keep uh, going more and more okay so that's uh, quite a, a beautiful features from Laravel but if you are not uh, comfortable with that you can go ahead with if uh, it doesn't hurt so let's see if it works or not yeah you see it works thank you um, era dev I'm really sorry if I spell uh, pronounced it wrongly but thank you so much for the suggestions thank you Okay, now let's move on and uh, create the search uh, the search things uh, actually. So as you can see, friends, I had a search bar here when I had the HTML, but and when I took the project uh, here, it just gone. So I then figured out I don't have the uh, font awesome. So let's go ahead and try to copy this font awesome and add that inside the header. So it should be loaded now. Now let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, you see I have a broken one, but that's okay. Cool. Maybe it's because um, the versioning. It says fast file. I think it will work with foundly. Ah, yeah, perfect. So it works. Now you see it's getting. Uh, it's actually hidden here. So I think this guy is using, um, uh, sorry, we in this design, we uh, used jQuery maybe, but I will surely will not include jQuery in the project at all. So you can see this none is the class that gets disabled or disappeared when we have this one. So what I need to do is I need to 
actually remove that uh, class for the time being but surely I will do this logic using views okay? so stick with me guys okay so now by default I can see it because it's not hidden anymore okay? I will try to show you in my later videos how you can install views and use this simple logical stuff using views and control it okay and also the commenting part and maybe the login part so i will try to make two more videos on this series and try to wrap it up as quickly as possible okay now let's move on and do the searching so how does it work so if you write anything it should work uh, we need to uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, going further with these things because I think I would need to change it in case if I need to use the widgets uh, with the search so what I will be doing is that I will try to uh, okay I will leave it uh, up to you guys uh, okay so I will leave it up to you to decide whether should I make it a real-time comment uh, real-time search I mean Ajax search Excel search or just the uh, just the normal one it's completely okay because I will either way I will be using uh, Vue.js to control this search uh, search one you click on it you uh, based, based on a click it will be gone and it will appear based on your clicks okay okay now let's go ahead and try to do more stuff because I didn't know what I wanted to do just I saw the comment and felt like okay let's do this one thing and move on now let's go to do go to our admin project so and check it out what we did there and we will do exactly the same thing I hope you guys have followed my old video okay so this is the ad, uh, admin project now what i would be interested in installing the views now so let's go ahead and install view perfect right so that makes a lot of sense so we have a package.json we have axios here it should by default be installed and view here and it's I think it's installed here as well so let's check the package.json file we have we just install here Axios already there so it's uh, it's cute right at the moment now if you have followed my tutorial you know we have to do these uh, uh, simple things we have to tag this mix.js and make a, a JavaScript file so let's let's go ahead and do the setup now okay I think we have one but let's remove these things and add this one okay it's much more cute now sorry for copy pasting because I have extensively shown a lot of these things so I think you wouldn't mind copying uh, me copying pasting because I don't really want to uh, bother writing again and again this will set up because you should be able to know how it works so I think I have this um, yeah I do have this JavaScript file already there so that's cute mm -hmm. now let's move on and check it out what is our primary um, initial entry point app.js file so this is the app.js file and it has literally nothing in it so let's move on and take code from app.js yeah we do have here simply just copying pasting I don't need a router here because I will not be using any route but I think we could use this view design here um, yeah I think we could but I will leave it now as well and we could use view mixing but the best thing is that we need to uh, we can now what we will be doing is we will be uh, implementing the uh, we will be like you know we have everything in blade so uh, we will be having let's say you see blog 
and let let me go ahead and check it out what things we need to do in the uh, in the view blade so in the uh, in view so let's say we have it login so we have to have a login uh, component and we will be having a comment component that will load all the comments and likes maybe so those dynamic parts will be yeah those comments should be loaded uh, using components so instead of um, one thing you need to be careful about is that I will not be using router anymore so you will not have any um, part of router access it's just like injecting some part some Vue.js part inside the blade okay so what mostly it will be like adding component okay separate individual components okay so first of all let's try to add the search component right at the moment okay everything will be separate individual component that will be injected into the blade now let's see if it uh, works for the uh, for the uh, moment okay now let's move on and check it out i want to make this the series to get in uh, to get an, into an endpoint where you can go ahead and create your own pages so easily and keep on extending okay okay no 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 i don't have to go the view the views this uh, now we have a, file, a folder component so let's make a new folder let's call it components and instead of main let's call it uh, search component okay so let's call it search.view so new file search.view so here we go we have the component now now what i will be doing is that i will copy this whole search component and paste it here okay so now i will be able to get access to the vue.js part completely that's super nice okay now let's check it out what is the name of my component it should be search and in the blade file what i can do is i can instead use this i think i should copy all this part not the other one and i can use search this and i can take all this code here right should be fine now perfect so <clears throat> yep let's go ahead and check it out so here we don't have any access control right at the moment we're using id so we have an id app that should control that you should control but i think do we have any um, uh, section where we have an id of app so let's go and check it out here yep we have an I, um, id app so it should be able to control now so it's really amazing now uh, let's move on and run npm run what really hope it doesn't give me any errors okay okay it works now i really need to make sure it indeed works so guys here if you want i can simply make it like a real-time ajax or axio search or i can just do uh here we go or we can just do some very simple stuff like uh, routing to the search page it doesn't really matter which way you do as long as you understand the project okay my main idea is only those things that you understand each and every part router is not defined yeah obviously we have not used router yep router and store we don't have that those things cool awesome absolutely nice because you see here we go it's working and it's absolutely obviously it's really really working now let's move on to the navigation blade file and see okay if we have um i think i will have to make the video shorter uh 
I'm really sorry if this interrupted. Okay, now you see the ID search flags. I'm not sure what is this ID. Let's go check it out and inspect this one. Okay, so this is the button. Uh, menu search T flags. Menu search T flags. So in here, uh, what I can do is uh, let's take some data here. You know, this thing was done purely with uh, jQuery, but we we are not. Let's say we hate jQuery, but yeah, definitely not. We don't because jQuery was uh, in the industry for so 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 long. Everyone was fan of it, but you know you have to get you have to change yourself. Never mind. So add click. So based on double click on it, clicking on it, I can say make it true or false. So it should be the reverse reverse one okay so that's fine now here i can say here was this uh, class so instead of the, using a class i can show b if this one so if it is true show me the search bar if not just hide it or remove it so you can see by default it's false if i click it so you know I achieved this simple awesome cool biggest feature available online using just three line of code awesome right yeah it's awesome one thing you should keep on mind when you use Vue.js inside of a blade file is that it will be loaded a little bit late than the other component you see the home Laravel B contact is already loaded in an available but your search icon is not available. It's just because um, in order to load the search bar, it has to load the JavaScript and all this code has to be executed and this search should be rendered. And then and only after that, you will be able to see that, okay? So thank you guys for watching this part and comment your valuable feedback, whether should I, uh, uh, yeah, we ha I have a little bug here is that if I click on this section you see so I will show you in the next video keep uh, I will hold uh, I will stop here because I will I want to keep your attention but that's very simple solution I can show it right away so that I can show uh, tell you the problem here you will definitely face this problem a lot of time when you have um, you have a click function at the outer div so you see I have a click function at the very outer div and I have some more logic inside. So in that one, in that case, you see, if I click here, uh, let me go back. Okay, if I click here, and then if I click any of this inside area, it will trigger the click event as well. Okay, so I will show you in the next video how you can do that. But if anyone does uh, know how to do these things, you can comment, and I will. Uh, uh, I will show you the name because yeah that's uh, pretty much simple but this is a homework you can take on okay so this is a cool thing I think we are very much close to the end so uh, in the next video I will try to go ahead and try to do the re login registrations and in the next video and the last final video commenting and maybe liking I will try to do comments and like Okay, and I will leave up to uh, when we have a reply system, but I will definitely show you the reply database design in case if someone doesn't know how to do comments and reply uh, database design nicely. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice time. Enjoy. Good day.